Hey you guys, welcome to our 2016 New Year, New You, Project You Boot Camp. I am so excited to have you guys all in here and I'm excited, not only for me, not only for you, but for me to get started on this new boot camp. I know the holidays are rough and I did better than I used to do through the holidays, but you still can't be perfect through the holidays, no matter how hard you try. So. I'm excited to really kick off 2016 with you guys and do the very best that we can. So some of you are continuer challengers with me and some are brand new. So I just wanted to explain a few things that we do in this group. Some of this you may have heard, some of you it's brand new for you. So bear with me if you've heard it several times, but I'm also going to be running this group a little different than I have in the past. Okay. So, when you get your challenge packs, some of you may not have gotten your challenge packs yet, and that's okay, because what is super cool is you can go to www.teambeachbody.com and log into your account, and you can go to um, Beachbody On Demand, and it has the program that you purchased. You can just stream it from online. And there's also tons of other programs that you can use too. You get Beachbody On Demand, the club membership free for 30 days. So that's really cool. And you can click on your program that you purchased. And the whole meal plan guide is online too. So you can go through it this weekend if you, even if you haven't gotten it in the mail yet. So what I kind of want to talk to you guys about is the meal, meal guide, the nutrition guide. So for every program, it's a little bit different, but what I love is the containers for the 21 Day Fix have been so popular that they have started implementing them into a lot of their programs because they've realized that this is so much easier than trying to count calories to know, okay, I need three fruits, four vegetables, four, four proteins, you know? So if people just know what they're supposed to eat every day, then it's so much easier than having to sit and like figure out your calories throughout the day. So what I love is a lot of you are on different programs. Some may be doing the 21 Day Fix Extreme or the 21 Day Fix or Size or Insanity Max 30 or where is my the Hammer and Chisel? I forgot to get my book out. But Hammer and, so all of these have implemented the containers into them. So it just makes it super simple. So you're all pretty much going to understand the containers by the end of this. And, but also, because they're all just a little bit different, hammer and chisel, you can totally customize it. Like if you want to lean out, if you want to lose weight, you can go with this meal plan. If you want to gain weight, you can go with this meal plan. If you want to gain muscle, you can go with this meal plan. So it kind of makes it a little tricky for me to create all these different meal plans for every single person. But also what I've noticed is when I put meal plans into the group, a few people use them, but most of the time people go with what's easy for them, what works for them. So I'm going to put a meal plan into the file section of the group. The file section you can find, so there's a banner at the top with the picture, and then it says like, um, members, photos, files. And so you'll click on the files and in there is where I'll put everything. So there, in there will be a meal plan, like kind of a sample meal plan of what I do. And you can just go by that. And if you need to add calories, you add certain containers, you'll figure it out when you look at, when you look at your program guide. Um, but then I just want you guys to really like study this and learn exactly what you're supposed to eat. It's so simple because it has um, like, for instance, proteins are red, a red container. So it has a whole list of every protein you can eat. And then it has carbs are yellow and it has all the carbs you can eat. So it just makes it easy because you can go through and pick like, okay, I like these carbs, I like these proteins. And you can kind of mix and match it and switch it up every other week or whatever. But 
you can just customize it to the way that works for you. And so I want you guys to really go over your, your nutrition guide this weekend and figure out your calories. And then by figuring out your calories, it will show you exactly what containers and how many of each container you can have, which is cool. And I'll also post in here some little um, cheat sheets of the containers and stuff so that if you haven't gotten your program guides and I mean your whole challenge packs and stuff yet, then you can go buy that. Okay, so also in the file section, I'm going to have a bunch of links in there that I want you to go through each one. And here is why. So one is going to teach you how to measure. What we're going to do is every single week, we're going to measure because a lot of times you're not going to lose pounds on the scale, which people get so caught up in the scale. And I just have to tell you, um, right now I've gained like 10 pounds from when I lost clear to where I wanted to be. And I've been kind of frustrated, but I've noticed a lot of it's muscle that I've gained because I, when I weighed this before, I had rolls, I was not like in shape, and now I really don't have rolls, I'm in shape, it's muscly. So if I was going by the scale, I'd be really frustrated. But I really haven't gained a lot of inches because I am just mus like leaning out and getting more muscle. So um, I want you guys to more focus on your measurements than the scale. Even a lot of people, I just say if you're caught up in the scale, weigh the first day and then don't weigh again until the end of this challenge group and see where you're at. But measure every single week. Because you're gonna see inches come off every week, no matter what. If you're doing, if you're eating right, and if you're working out every single day, but you've got to realize that you're gonna be losing some fat and gaining muscle at the same time. So it could kind of counteract each other on the scale, but at the same time, you'll be losing the inches because you'll be getting because um, muscle is denser. So you'll lose inches when the fat comes off but you'll be building that muscle, if that makes sense. So, um, every, whatever day works for you, I want you to do it on the same day every day. So if Saturday's the best day for you to just get up, measure, you know, then do it tomorrow and get it done. And you're gonna message me your measurements every single week. So I need to have your measurements by Monday morning. I don't care if you send them to me on Saturday, I don't care if you send them to me on Mon on Sunday, but by Monday, I want to have your measurements. So you're going to send me your measurements. I also want you to take before pictures, and I think you should even take a picture every single week that you measure. So take like a front picture, a side picture, you can even take like stand in the mirror and do a back picture, whatever you want to do, but do take pictures because even when you're like, I'm oh, I'm only losing three or four inches and not really much pounds, you're going to start seeing your body like shrinking <laughs> in these pictures. And pictures are just huge because they'll tell the truth, you know? And so even if you don't want to share your pictures with me right now, keep them for you. And every single week, I want you to measure take pictures every single week and if you want to share them with me for a little more accountability great I promise I won't share them with anyone else unless you gave me permission so um so in the file section you'll have like a bunch of links and you can go you can sign up for the beach body challenge which all you do is you put your before measurements your before pictures in there at the end of the 30 days, you put your ending measurements and ending pictures. You can win money, but every time you get a free shirt for the program that you're doing. So I have got, I've done it for every single program I've done, which I've done a lot. <laughs> and I've gotten a free shirt for every single program that I've done. And it's awesome. I love it. So why not just go in there? You're doing your measurements, you're doing your photos anyway, and if you do that, then you'll win something. You could win money, you could win, um, like, there's a lot of money that you can win, 
but you can always get a free t-shirt no matter what. So, and then also in there, um, there's like a guide for meal prepping. So this is what I do for all you newbies out there that aren't sure how to meal prep. I will go shopping on like Saturday and I'll get all my food for the entire week. And then on Sunday, a lot of times I'm a stay at home mom, but, um, even sometimes when I know it's going to be a crazy busy week, I will just cook everything on Sunday. And I mean, there's some things you don't really have to cook. Some things that go in the crock pot maybe that you can just throw in that day. But for the most part, I get everything. I get my snacks in baggies, put them in a bowl in the fridge. And so when it's time for a snack, I can just go grab it and I don't have to think twice about it. I don't have to miss my snack. Um, I will cook all, I'll get all my lunches ready. So depending on what I'm eating that week, I usually pick two to three lunches for the week and I just make a bunch of it. And then I have me and my husband's lunches for the whole week. This year, I'm going to do better at also making it for my kids because I have just decided we're all going on this together. I feel so much better when we eat this way. My husband feels so much better. And so why not just the whole family jump in together? Um, and then I, oh, one thing, if you don't have, get like a water bottle that you love and figure out like this has 16 ounces to there in it. And so figure out how many times you need to fill your water bottle up to reach a gallon every day and shoot for a gallon. So a gallon is 128 ounces a day. And sometimes, like I also have a half a gallon jug and sometimes I'll just fill that up at night, put it in the fridge. When I get up, I just start drinking it and I try to drink one by noon and then I fill it up again at my lunch and I drink the rest by the end of the day. And I actually do better when I use that half gallon jug because I can see like, okay, I better hurry and guzzle this because it's almost noon and I kind of like play a game with myself. Where this, sometimes I lose track of how many times I've filled it up. Oh, another thing that I've seen that some people do <laughs> is you can get elastic bounds and say you had to fill this up four times. And they put four elastic bands on there and every time they fill it up, they pull one off. And then they know as soon as they're all gone, they're done filling them up and they drink a gallon of water. So whatever you can do to make sure you get your gallon in every day, at least come close to it. The rule of thumb is half your body weight in ounces, but because we're going to be eating five meals a day and because we're going to be working out every day, your body kind of needs more water to help you digest all the food and also replenish what you sweat out. So if your body's not really used to working out, it's going to need more water than it's used to. Um, okay, so water, study up on your nutrition, and you can go to the file section for how to measure um, how to sign up for the Beach Body Challenge. There's other things in there too. Just try to go to every one of those links. Um, there will be a meal plan in there to kind of guide you by. And um, every day I'm going to be posting like motivation and maybe a challenge. Maybe there will be like a squat challenge. Take a picture doing squats or there's going to be different little challenges every day to just kind of keep you guys motivated mm -hmm. and and going in the group because a lot of times we get busy but if we have something to keep our mind on it we're going to keep doing it so in this group I just want you guys to participate even if you check in in the morning and post whenever you work out post your workout photo and then at night I'm going to have you guys post what you ate so we're going to go like B for breakfast, S for snack, lunch is L for lunch, S for snack, and then a D for dinner. And you're going to, every day, doesn't matter if you ate a candy bar or, you know, we want to hear everything. I That's why we're here. That's what this group's about is to post everything. Post what you're struggling with. Post about 
you know, anything that you did awesome that made you happy for the day. That's what this group is all about. So, um, we're going to post that, how much water we were able to drink that day, and what workout we did. And maybe, you know, what we learned that day, or what we did better than we normally would have that day. Whatever you want to share with us, that is awesome. And we're just all here shooting for the same thing, wanting to get healthier, wanting to get happier, and wanting to work on ourselves. So that's what I love about these groups is you're going to be so amazed at the friends that you're going to walk out of this group with because every single group, it just seems like we just get so many friends and so much closer and get to know each other so much better. So, um, so just participate. My challengers that participate the most usually at the best, um, transformations because they're in it to win it <laughs> and they're, you know, they're totally, um, they know their goals and they, if you show up and you post your nutrition every day and you post your workout every day and you're using this group for accountability, you're going to make sure and do the things that you're supposed to be doing. So just make sure you show up every day. Do make sure you send me, message me your measurements every single week. And I'm going to keep track of what people send me, what people post, and then at the end we're going to have a drawing for the most participation is going to win a prize, like maybe a fitness program, maybe a cute tank top. Um, I have a bunch of prizes, so I will be handing out some fun prizes at the end if we have some great participation. We might give away two prizes. So just try your hardest to participate and you invested in yourself to be here. You invested in a program. You invested in Shakeology and let's put it to the test and see what you can do with this because I promise you if you participate, if you show up and if you eat the way that you're supposed to eat with the nutrition guide, then you're going to get amazing results and you're going to feel amazing. So post below that you watch this video. I'm so excited to get going with you guys. And please let me know if you have any questions. You can post questions below this video as well. And so I will see you later. Just check the file section for everything that you need to get going in here. Um, meal prepping ideas, like maybe this is one thing that I like to do is I eat a lot of eggs. So I'll boil a bunch of eggs put them in baggies, two eggs is one serving of protein. Um, I will get all my snack baggies ready for all my snacks. I, if I make like chicken salad, I just make a bunch of it for my lunches. Um, chili is usually an easy one, like a turkey chili. So I'll make a bunch of turkey chili for dinners. So that is kind of my trick is to just pick like two dinners and two lunches and make a bunch of it and like two different two or three different snacks for the week and you're gonna have two snacks a day so you might even want to pick four snacks for the week so you can have two one day and different to the next day kind of rotate so okay guys let's kick off 2016 amazingly and let's hit our goals let's do whatever it takes to get to where we want to be and to fill amazing and have the confidence that we want to have and so i'm happy to have you all here and let's rock it out talk to you later bye